Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back with another episode of Minecraft Survival. We are back on the Unauthor Block server, and it is just turning to night time over our river, which we worked on in the last and first episode, which is absolutely amazing. And in this episode, as I said last episode, we're going to be working on this watchtower here, as well as the road. So before we are absolutely slaughtered by... An absolute buttload of mobs, like that skeleton, who we are going to kill. There we are. We are going to get the groundworks in for this tower. So, in the last episode, we created this entire river here and this grate, where we are going to build a kind of watchtower on top of it. And I laid this out last episode, got a sort of shape and size on top of the uh, man-made ridge that I made just to sort of work out um, the dimensions of what we're actually going to do and I've got a bit of an idea in mind for this tower so I'm going to I'm going to have this as sort of like this settlement is built on the on the foundation of an old old fortress like an old castle so this river running through here would have been like a great uh, water source to have a village in this this whole valley here is very naturally protected by these uh, walls so it's just the front here so I'm gonna make it look as if um, there was like an original tower here that's gonna be uh, probably like here slightly smaller a three by three made out of mainly stone and uh, stuff like that that's gonna look really nice hopefully and it's gonna be like old weathered stone so I'm thinking stone mixed with andesite some stone brick in there bits and pieces like that mainly just very very stone so it looks like it's lasted a long old time and then uh, on this sort of layer around the outside we're going to have a bit more of the polished stone so stone brick polished andesite and then some oak logs and st uh, wood that is much more like modern and wouldn't have lasted quite as long so it's more like the model modern settlement here is gonna come and like build on top of the still standing structure of this watchtower and like refurbish it to make it what, what it once was so once this watchtower is done we're going to get some walls in either side and then we're going to start work on this path and i've been toying with how this path is going to run for the past like 24 hours just trying to work out where this is going to go so i've laid out to as far as here in the last episode but when it comes up to here i genuinely just don't know where to go with it because if you go over this way um it's far too steep on the other side to make a path so eventually I wanted to connect it up to down there but this is obviously far too steep to have a path go down so I've decided that uh, we would toy around with some ideas so I decided to see what it would be like taking it around this way and I decided that this is just a really long-winded route to get to my area maybe that could be like an alternative route that I make down down the line in the future but I've actually decided to go for uh, a bit of a different route so through here uh, I'm going to terraform this over to connect to that and make another cave entrance like we have down with the river, just a bigger one that can fit like carts and uh, horses and people, which should be really nice. So uh, quite a big cavern entrance here that's just going to pop through into like this area here. So it's not going to be that long, it's just going to be uh, a very wide arch. And then that's where it's going to say like now entering Toby's uh, area. So everything within this cavern here should be mine uh, once I put that sign down and then it's gonna loop around here down this sort of natural pathway gully way here that's already been made obviously some terraforming will need to happen to make it smooth and then it's gonna loop around the base of this hill here hopefully allowing other people to move into this area and build in this lovely valley here just on the other side of the ridge from mine which should be very nice and have some more shops because we are branching off from the shopping area and yeah we'll go down this sort of natural causeway down here uh, and then as you can see it's much more gentle coming down into this area here and then it lines up very nicely with the path we're trying to connect to uh, which is where all the shops are and such so hopefully once we connect that up around to my area it should look really nice and by the end of this episode I hope to have this path completely finished and uh, connected up with some signs with some like beautifications just make it look really really nice and yeah that should be really good and I will yeah, get back with you once uh, some progress has been made on that tower, and then, uh, yeah, just see how it goes. 
Okay, so we've got some progress made. The top is a little off. I need to tweak with that a bit. But I think the bottom and the idea we're going for there is going pretty well. Obviously, I'm going to rough up the sides a bit more. But it's, it's looking pretty decent so far. So, as you can see, the idea is we've got the old stone structure in the middle, which is uh, the stone and andesite one with the uh, little slits in it. Uh, for windows, archer archer windows, and yeah, we're going to mix in some more of this andesite into this face, uh, and maybe some stone stairs and stuff just to add, like, notches taken out, stuff like that. But, yeah, just to make it look a bit more old, but it really does look like it's been carved out of the mountain itself, like it's been carved out the ridge. And then the wood and stone brick support that we've got going on at the bottom is exactly what I am liking. So we've got the support structure in place that's holding up the tower then around the top is where we're going to be building like our archer sort of like main guard sightseeing area so it's going to be quite open you're going to be able to see out of it quite well but yeah the top definitely needs some work with how it's going to look so yeah the minute i'm sort of experimenting with the shape of it and once we get a better shape and the top of the tower finished off a bit i'll get back to you before we start moving on to the interior and the walls but as for now, I think it's going quite well with how it's looking. It really does look like it's meant to be there. It really fits in quite well. So I'll get back with you once the top is sorted out. Okay, so guys, we have pretty much finished the exterior of this tower. I figured out the top bit. I literally moved two oak logs to there. I just moved the oak logs around a bit, and it created this really nice shape. Uh, and I got the roof in, a nice shallow roof with uh, little guard holes there, which we will test out with you but yeah like it's looking pretty nice I love the addition I've complete it was right at the end where I was trying to figure out what to do for the windows the guard windows uh, that I remembered spruce signs are now a thing so I've added in some spruce signs and some spruce trap doors which make really really nice slits that are just over a block big but also just really like they just they look right when you're in there looking out and from the outside looking in they also look really nice and i just love how we've got this really old stone structure in the center and it's just been built on them and refurbished with uh, wooden polished stone bricks so i don't know it just looks really really nice but the next thing we really need to do is get the um get the walls in place and get the interior done and I was thinking and toying with the idea of putting a flag on top, but I really don't think it needs it. Because I think it just looks really nice uh, from in here, especially. It's a lovely addition to the end of our river on top of this grate. It, mean, it makes this grate look like it now has a purpose. And it really fits well on top of that ridge line there. And looking from outside, it also does look really nice when you are... Say we get a path going along this ridge line, eventually going off in that direction. It just looks nice. It doesn't look quite as grand as from the inside. But once the wall's up and it looks good, it just looks like it's meant to be there. And especially with the fact that it's made of stone, it just looks like, say, the the stone from this mountain has been quarried and built up. It's built with the material from the area is what I'm trying to say. So it looks like it fits in, which is really, really nice. And yeah, just the whole shaping of the top area came out really nicely in the end. Um, I didn't think it would come out this nicely when I was building it. I was just like, I'll give it a go uh, and then I'll tear it down and retry. And this is only the second attempt of me building it. You saw the first attempt where it looked a slight bit off uh, with the shaping of the oak logs. But yeah, now it looks really nice and I especially love this curve that's created here by the stairs and slabs. And it really looks like it's a strong structure that's been built on top of a really solid foundation. And yeah, it just looks like a proper guard tower. And once we get some low walls uh, going along the top of here, I don't think the walls are going to be very high. Maybe three blocks high coming out of here and going along here into a bit of a cliffside that I'm going to terraform in a minute. But I think we're going to try and work on this side of the wall first, considering the cliffside is already here. So if we peel this back, have we just heard a mighty high? We have. Just fly around and take a look at what I'm doing. But yeah, the next next thing we need to do is get a wall in place and get some way of getting in and out of the tower so I could do the interior. Um, I think we'll probably uh, put a doorway in the wall and that be the way you get in and out of the tower. 
But I'll get I'll get building, I'll see how it goes, and yeah, I'll get back to you once we've made some progress on this side of the wall. Okay, so what have I done? I have built the world's shallowest wall, but I think it's alright. I think it is exactly what I need for this tower. It looks really quite nice. It brings just enough of what I want. So this is going to be more of an inner wall, I think. I think my plan is, this is going to be more of like an inner wall, like an inner watchtower wall. It doesn't need to be too big. It's made of almost entirely spruce trap doors because I had very, very short space inside to get into the tower but I think it's quite cool I like how I've got a rickety looking not rickety it's opposite rickety worn looking stone staircase going up here there's barely a staircase it's more just like a path that's been worn away into the rock and that goes up to this door here which leads into the interior of this tower which we are yet to do. That's the thing we are going to be starting work on next. But as you can see what I mean by we've got barely enough space to stand in here. But we have enough space. And that is really quite nice I think. Uh, for the wall. And yeah the wall is nothing grand. It's just a very very simple small wall that will do exactly what it needs to for this area. And we're going to have another one coming off here that goes diagonally to about here. Where I'm going to build up a bit of a, a, bit of a higher cliff. That I'm going to bring to a point up to there roughly. Uh, Edge has just logged on. That's pretty cool. And thank you very much to Mighty High for giving me some golden carrots. That was very nice of you. If we come around the other side here. We have a, another look at the wall. This one it extends a little bit further down. It looks a bit more impressive from the outside. And still I think looks really really nice. And once we have the wall in on this side as well. It should look really good. But I'm happy with how that's turned out because it's nothing grand it's just a perfect little little wall for our area and as I said like I think we're gonna have like a main castle wall going from here along this ridge up here uh, into this thing here uh, because obviously we've got the gatehouse there for the inner city wall and then we can have like later down the line a massive wall coming along here and another big gatehouse along there for like the outer city which I think could be really cool so this is where like maybe farm areas would be protected by a bigger wall where we've got bigger mountains. But this is like an inner city kind of thing where say the original city was before it, expansion was needed and we moved up to this edge. Which I think is a really, really cool idea. But yeah, as you can see we've got the, got the tower and half of the wall done. What I'm going to work on next before moving on to the next section of wall... We're going to get the interior of this tower done. So if we just jump up here. I've got some few. I've got a few ideas uh, for what I want. I want a little like tool station here. So as soon as you walk in there's like a little table. Um, I need a slab. I don't have a slab. Where it's going to have like uh, item frames on it. With various different like a bow. Maybe some arrows. That sort of thing. Uh, and maybe uh, some lighting would be very useful in here. Which is going to be an issue with these trap doors. I don't know how we're going to do that. But anyway, we're going to have like a little workstation here with some arrows and stuff. Maybe the lighting we can do. We can't do that. Uh, I'll work out lighting. Maybe we like hide some lighting somehow. I don't know. Because we don't want mobs to start spawning in this wall. That's the last thing we want. I mean, we could... No. I don't know. And then we're going to move into here where we're going to have... Rather than a spiral staircase, I think we're just going to have a ladder going up the back here. And then obviously we're going to have a bit of a walk walkway here around by the windows. Which will, well, we need to actually position those trapdoors the right orientation. We have a bit, of a bit of a walkway here. Just so we can, like, shoot out of the, shoot out of the windows if we want to save ourselves from, like some invaders or whatnot so we have a bit of a floor in there made out of the trap doors and then in here we can have some like shelving uh, which has various barrels and item frames and armor stands and stuff like that just stuff you'd need in an area like this and obviously some lighting as well but I'll work that all out uh, and get back to you once we have worked out what it is we've actually gonna get done in here okay so I've done a couple things first and foremost I got myself some lanterns and I replaced nearly all of the torches with lanterns. The only ones I didn't replace were those on the wall. 
and that is because I actually like the look of the torches on the wall. So we're going to have a look at what it looks like when we've got the rest of the wall in place as well. But I think I'm going to keep those torches there. But I've replaced them all the way up. Uh, all the way up here as well. And they just look so much better than the torches. Like infinitely better. But anyway, we have done an interior to this tower so far. And it's actually turned out really, really nice. So as soon as you go in, you've got this workstation I was talking about. We've got a lantern hanging here that provides a bit of light in here. And we've got just an arrow and an item frame on the table. Nothing too fancy. And then we've got another lantern just on the floor here. Uh, once we go in here, this is where the interior that I'm really proud of is. So, in here we've got, of course, the fletching tables. It's an archer's tower. You've got to have arrows, bows, targets, and a fletching table. We've got a few of them dotted around. We've got some barrels with, and some chests on this shelf. We've got another lantern providing a bit of light. We've got yet another fletching table just up there, storing some more arrows and stuff. Then you come up into here, which is where you can snipe out of if you want to. You can only just see out of these windows, but I think that's perfect for what uh, is required because in real life you'd have to be lying down and looking at these with your bow and arrow but we got um, two arrows and a bow hung up on the wall there and if we go up to the very top this is my favorite bit is where we got the bigger windows which is a bit more uh, a bit more of a ballsy place to shoot out of because there's obviously a lot more opportunity to get shot but you also got the 360 degree view around and what we've done up here is we got in each corner we got a table with a lantern on which just provides enough lighting up here and then here we have got in fact this is supposed to be like that so we got a, another fletching table but this one's sort of closed off so you can only see the bow and arrow that is being hung up there so it's like you come over here pick up your bow and arrow and you go uh, similar sort of things with these two here we got uh, two stacked on top of each other with uh, bows and arrows and then I've got some item frames where we're hanging the bows and arrows in a similar fashion to they are on this side so yeah you can't really tell uh, much difference and it just looks really really good as a uh, place to hang up bows and arrows and fits really perfectly in the top of this guard tower so that is pretty much the tower complete now I think we can say that the tower is complete so if we just fly out of there and uh, turn around once we reach over the middle of this plains biome yes this is looking really really nice from a distance now perfect yeah and with the lanterns up the top I'm sure when it turns night time It'll look really nice. Uh, as soon as it turns night time, I'll record a clip to show you how that looks, and I'll insert it between now and the next clip. But gosh, yeah, that is looking insane. I'm so happy with how this has turned out, and now the only thing left to do is to finish up by connecting this wall to this cliff that we're going to build up here. Uh, so once I've done that, I'll uh, get working on the cliff, uh, trying to get this all figured out. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll see. I need to cook up a lot more stone to do that though, so this one's going to be a long one. I'll catch you back in a bit. Okay, so as it turns night time, it is looking amazing. Especially with all these lanterns now. This whole area is really coming alive with these shaders at night time. I want to take to the air and have a look at this. If we fly over the town with these amazing shaders on. This whole town looks amazing, but look at that. The river coming down with this guard tower at the front. Just looks amazing with the light coming out of the towers if it looks so inhabited with these shaders the lighting in these shaders is done so incredibly well like that is just that's amazing I'm so happy with how that's turned out yeah I'm gonna get back to working on this ridge okay so I've built up a bit of a bit of a peak here a bit of a cliff face that is looking pretty good if you remember, this bit was like a floating island bit, and I've just built up to it, and it, it kind of looks natural. I think it'll take a bit of getting used to. I think once the wall is in, because I've sort of cleared that out area, that area looks very square at the minute, but once the wall's in, it should be looking a bit better, and I can work on the terraforming a bit more then. I've got some dirt in my inventory just to sort of like uh, bring this a bit more, but once the wall's in, as I said, it should be able to be terraformed a bit better, because around this side at the minute, it's looking, it's all right, but it could be better. Um, so yeah, once the wall's in, I will fiddle around with it a bit more. But yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do the road this episode, but I think we're running out of time. I think we're definitely running out of time to do the road this episode. So it looks like the road will have to be an episode three job. But yeah, I'll get this wall done. I'll do some terraforming. Then I think that'll be it for the episode. So once I've got the wall done, 
I'll get back with you and we'll be able to review what we've done this episode. All right, so we have got the wall in place and it is looking fantastic. It is looking absolutely amazing now that's finished. I am so happy with how that's turned out considering what it started at at the start of the episode where this whole thing was just a floating island. Now it's a proper hill that looks really good now. The wall's in place and the terraform uh, has been done and I can't wait to get a proper big gatehouse in this gap here and I, it's just going to look really really nice and on this side we have also done a bit of terraforming and it is looking really nice now we just need to wait for that grass to spread and honestly I couldn't be happier with how this has turned out so I think we have just about run out of time for starting the road so we're going to have to save that for next episode. But yeah, basically, next episode is going to be the road. And maybe the start to the mine entrance. But I will hold my tongue on that. Because last time I said we'd do this town rule plus the road. And we completely ran out of time for the road. But I am so happy with how this has turned out. Like, with that, st with that rickety stairs there going up to the entrance to the tower. The whole interior... And just this whole terraform mountain. That is two mountains in two episodes we have built. So it's going well. But yeah, this is looking really, really nice. And I'm glad this has turned out the way it has. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Toby. This has been Unauthor Blocks. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bruh.